Let's assume that you are the captain of a ship. Not just any ordinary one, a special one. One that can provide unlimited transportation to any place in the world. Which means any island, any country, any minute fraction of the earth that's accessible by sea is open for your exploration. Where would you go? Think about it for a second. Surely there are countless destinations and you would want to visit every dream location of yours. It's hard to just select one. So choose as many as you like. I'll give you plenty of time to think and then you can travel to all of them in sequence. If you're fond of short form or eastern poetry, especially haikus, chances are you have heard of Matsuo Basho. Retrospectively a philosopher, but more precisely, just an ordinary man with passion for recording the things he saw during his many adventures and traveling extensively to experience more of the same. Composing masterpieces in the three-line format such as Another Year Is Gone, A Traveler's Shade On My Head, straw sandals at my feet or the most famous one an ancient pond a frog jumps in the splash of water notice something about these poems aside from them being visually stimulating is that they are a recording of the present moment Basho in his writings never reminiscent about the past nor did he ponder over the possibilities of the future In the opening lines of his travel diary, The Narrow Road to the Interior, Basho states that every day is a journey, and the journey itself is home. Whether the commodity in transition is the body or the mind, the statement still applies. So, decided your destinations yet? Or do you find the unlimited possibilities to be a bit overwhelming? Regardless though, I think it's only fair to give you some more time. The opening moments of 2012's celebrated masterpiece Journey quickly establishes a connection with the player showing you an iconic image of a mountain's glowing summit in the distance. The same image is presented again some 15 minutes later. At that point it's made very clear. That mountain is our objective, a destination. This art piece does not say anything. Everything is mysterious and video game conventions have been thrown out of the window. The color scheme of the world changes throughout the game as it pushes forward the themes of the story being presented here. But on your first playthrough, you wouldn't notice or understand any of that. The mountain engraves a vision, an imagination of what the end would look like. And surely, beautiful it is, but without the journey preceding it, not really all that impactful. The entire story is told through the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay here, through the rise and the fall, through the end and the beginning. It's overwhelming the first time through, so you will miss out on a lot of details. Thankfully, it's a video game and you can replay it as many times as you like. And while the experience a second time might not be as impactful, you can still visit this relic again in efforts to understand it. Sadly, real life won't give you so many chances.
So, done with that list of destinations. Come on, don't be so confused over it. There are just landmarks, waypoints. On the way, you will witness beautiful sunsets, moonlit nights, the fresh morning breeze, and countless other instances and subtle moments that will make each day special. But for that, you will have to be a part of the journey. And for those obsessed with their destinations, they are unlucky to miss out on all of that. So you decide.